वेलकम टू द हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स एपिसोड ऑफ ललिता दिव्य रहस्य सहस्र नाम स्त्रोत्र द अल्टीमेट फॉर्म ऑफ कॉस्मिक एनर्जी इन दिस इन दिस यूनिवर्स द नरिशमेंट प्रोवाइडेड अनकंडीशनली इज नॉट जस्ट लिमिटेड टू द बॉडीज इज बी ऑन द बॉडीज दैट इंक्लूड्स द सोल्स the nourishment provided by the universal mother is extended to the departed souls towards upliftment and enrichment of the soul energy in the process they come closer to the super soul this is the essence of lalita divya rahasya sahasra nama stotra in the previous episode we have finished uh, सदाशिव सदाशिव अनुग्रह पंचकृत्य पारायण सो आफ्टर द टर्मिनेशन ऑफ द मार्स वर्ल्ड द नेक्स्ट मे नामा वास महाकामी समी एंड फ्रॉम दट नामा टील पंचकृत्य पारायण द स्टेबिलाइजेशन ऑफ द मून हैपन because moon itself was formed from the lunar planet after earth and moon got separated and the stars got separated so the stabilization of this moon happened within this 24 namas representing 24 days or 24 tithis um in a lunar lunar calendar after 27 is 28 so typically lunar calendar has 28 so in this uh, namas from mahakame samahishi manchakur til panchakur chaparana the the namas that uh, terminate with e because they they are incomplete uh, so if they are been subtracted or not been counted then it becomes 27 Several significant events have happened during this seventeen day, twenty-seven days since the formation of the Earth. The formation and revolution of the Moon, formation of the stars, formation of the Earth, origin of Parvati, origin of Himalayas, the various resources on Earth, the plant species, cows, humans, the evolving of the five elements. the establishment of the dharma the seasons formation of the seasons the water resources and uh, um and the and the first death of the species on planet earth also happened and uh, not only that jupiter revolution happened but until now the sun revolution did not happen therefore art stick is art stick for counting this 27 days in us is lunar revolution so the obvious question here is uh, um so much happened in 27 days the life originated souls were departing from this bodies how did all this can happen um so it is it is very much probable i think those days the potency level were very high it was it was believed that uh, in ramayana it is it was said almighty islam and it is said sagara chakravarti the ancestor of uh, rama was having 60000 60000 children Swamitra and Vasista were having um, believed to have thousand uh, hundred children. Similarly, Dhritarashtra had hundred hundred children. Kunti gave birth to uh, Karna uh, instantaneously. Similarly, Anusuya, with the power of intent or Sankalpa Bala, created the Tatraya. the unified form of creation 
um, destroy and the, and the state of being, the three forms in one uh, in one body that is the tatreya. So therefore, um, in 24 days creation, karma charna, nurturing future generation, death, all this would have been possible. And um, further at that time, the genetic code was not fully established. The human genetic code or the, the species genetic code on earth was not completely gen uh, established. Therefore, humans may have exhibited fast track karma charna or fast track growth. So this uh, uh, accelerated events would have happened definitely uh, possible. So the next Nama is uh, Bhanu Mandala Madhyastha. The departed souls from planet earth reaching all the way to the sun planet. The revolution of the be uh, the beginning of the revolution of the sun planet that is Bhanu Mandala Madhyastha. So how did the souls from planet earth be able to reach planet sun? The contents of the departed souls were erased and filled with unified form of the energy of Shiva and Parvati through Sada Shiva Nugrahada Panchakurcha Parayana. So what will the soul that is devoid of past impressions and uh, uh, devoid of the, the, the contents of the faculties, what will, the, what will such a soul do? A situation is similar to a person who loses his identity or having identity crisis. What will the person do? Whatever is the need of the hour, what is the requirement of the current, the person will act towards that. His karma jana will be towards that. For example, if the need of the hour is towards getting food, towards quenching, quenching the, the thirst, his actions of Kamachana will be towards that, finding food. The soul journey is also, also exactly similar. The soul that is devoid of the past impressions and um, getting filled with the unified form of, unified energy form of Shiva and Parvati, with that radiance, because that uh, unified form of the Shiva and Parvati is radiance and light, um, actually it's a, it's a, it's both effects. Well, Shiva is supposed to be cold, Parvati with all the karma jana, um projects the warmth, so it's a hot and cold cycle in the form of radiance. Parvati is a, um, is, uh, Shiva is like moon, moon like um, um, coolness and uh, Parvati with, uh, with her nourishment she is taking, um, she is taking the, the heaviness from the, from the all the living beings since uh, she is becoming warm or hot. And again, by nourishing, she's become cold. Through the through the unified energy, she's becoming cold. So, their unified form of energy will be having hot cold effect filled into the soul. No, so soul while having the body also already experienced the moon effect. That is a cold effect. Hence, the soul marches forward in extraterrestrial space, looking for the light or hot spot. And this happens like a target, um, like a um, um, target lock missile. Um, the soul reaches uh, the sun planet. The soul reaching sun with this, uh, with this uh, hot cold cycle effects triggers the onset of revolution of the sun planets. Sun planets. So let us see how this has happened. The departed soul receives the magnetic repulsive energy at the North Pole 
and um, that is uh, north pole and uh, reaches sun planet and the uh, and the and the circle of attraction and repulsion is completed with this um, with this complete with the reaching of the soul planet to the sun and the jupiter magnetic effects registered onto the sun through the soul hence the sun started his revolution so through this nama the sun effects were registering on planet earth for the first time hence the humans on earth they able to experience the sunrise 28 days after the formation of the earth now they know the difference between day and night till now they are not knowing that in this context uh, the reasons for the solar storms the excessive sun effects on planet earth can be easily understood the soul reaching sun with its energy triggering the sun planet hence if the number of departed souls increases and their energy reaching the sun will make sun more brighter or intense similarly if there is imbalance in death birth cycle more deaths compared to the um, uh, compa- more births compared to the deaths may deplete the sun's potency this hypothesis is not just applicable to humans alone it is valid across all the souls across all the living beings um there are several instances of sun influences in our scripture influence of the sun on us in our scriptures in ramayana sugriva was born with sun sun characteristics griva means ego sugriva means having an ego of sun planet sun hanuma was granted 1% of the radiance of the sun by sun himself and not only that sun was the guru for hanuma in mahabharata karna was born with sun's radiance therefore the souls of sugriva and karna would have reached planet sun after their death so um so this is about uh, bhanumandala madhyastha so the remaining namas we will explore in the next episode thank you